Welcome back. In the age of social media and cyber hacks, it's crucial for companies to have protocols in place that keep predators out of the proverbial hen house. But security experts will tell you all the safeguards in the world won't matter if the wolf happens to be in sheep's clothing. Employers want to know the unknown about who's exactly coming through its doors. And information is the key. Companies often conduct background checks on prospective employees. Criminal, financial, and commercial records may contain red flags that can be used to weed out applicants with questionable pasts. With access to public records only a click away, what you do today could impact a potential job opportunity tomorrow. E-Verifile is a company specializing in risk management services. CEO Mark Wilson has an interesting background of his own, a serial entrepreneur with an appetite for analytics and investment, as you'll see in today's Executive Profiles. To have the uh, ultimate entrepreneur to talk to mm. is a special treat. Were your folks entrepreneurs? Where did the spirit come from? Is it DNA? Is it grown? Where'd you get it? Yeah, yeah I get that question a lot, Ed, and it, and it really isn't uh, a DNA thing. Um, I think it's born out of opportunity to where I could see where I could make the difference in the lives of people. So let's go back to your uh, college days. You went to a very special school, Wilberforce. Yeah. That's correct. Most people don't know what that school is all about. <laughs> let's educate, shall we? As you know, it's the first privately held uh, African-American-owned um, institution in, in the country. And so that history and legacy has a lot, lot with it and produced a lot of great leaders and, um, you know, and kind of flown under the radar for a lot of years. And I'm happy to be, you know, actively back involved with the university as um, recently being, been appointed to the chair of the board there. So she so had a great academic experience. Now it's on to basically big companies. When, yeah. when you first got out of college? Yeah, uh, notably Dun & Bradstreet is right. probably where I spent the, the bulk of my professional career before starting a business and good training ground. I learned a lot about business and about how to operate a business and you know how businesses you know operate themselves. The work that I performed, the jobs that I had uh, while at DNB were mostly operational, mostly in the call center uh, sector. They made a decision that they were going to outsource that work and I happened to be um, familiar and had a good relationship with those that were making those decisions and I just asked for an opportunity to be one of the companies uh, that they would partner with and the only a small detail there I didn't have a company when I was asking them to, to you know to, to invest in me but uh, we were able to get that done and to be a pro pro provider of services for them. Well you had two children that gave you the name of the company. I did and we were trying to uh, create some legacy and I thought, what better way to do that than to have a reminder of that daily by my, my children's name being, being what the company was you know, about. So it was Ryla, R-Y for my son Ryan, and L-A for my daughter Lauren. But you built a gigantic business based on philosophy, yeah. business philosophy. Yeah. Speak to your philosophy. Well, it's people first. It's pretty simple. Um, a call center work. And, and, and really any work at is, is based on, you know, um, the performance of people. So we felt going out that if we were to be successful on the people part of the equation that we would have a great chance for success. And so that's where we started. We started on, you know, we, our first uh, decision was what our mantra would be, which is creating the best job that you've ever had. Everybody was able to understand that it was real in our environment, that we really were trying to have this be a situation that we're if someone asks you to compare their work experiences, that they'd be able to refer to their experience at Ryla as the best job that they'd, have, they'd ever had. Um, and so that if we were successful with that, our clients and customers would benefit from it. You're one of our fastest growing companies at the Chronicle. Yeah. EY names you Entrepreneur of the Year. That's correct. But it wasn't really long after that you weren't finished. Serial entrepreneur. We did have some success at Ryla, and we did have partners, and um, you know, basically got a call from one of my, my former investors at uh, Frontier Capital, which um, out of Charlotte, and you know, in talking to uh, Andrew Linder, actually his partner over there, founding partner over there, he and I got together, and we started just kicking around ideas about what would be you know a good opportunity as a line of business that we would you know take another shot at. 
uh, Everifile, which is the company that we ultimately invested in and that I'm running now, was one of the ones that, that, that kind of bubbled to the top. Explain Everifile, the company, the sensitivity of what you're really doing now? Yeah, the timing for this investment uh, we felt was like really good given the environment, the business climate that's out there now around safety and security, and in particular workforce safety and security. So what E-Verifile does is provide that. We, we are a um, provider of background screening services, um, drug testing, all things really related to you know, um, the vetting process for employers or around employees. And then I'll say it that, and then we've, we've gotten more serious about the contractor side of things as well, where you know large corporates that are employing a huge contractor base, uh, there's a need to vet those companies and the folks that work for those companies. So you're back to fast growth again? Uh, we are. We are. Um, it, it was slow um, in the beginning. We, we needed to make some fundamental investments in the business to get the, the technology platform where it would be scalable. Uh, so we did that, and now uh, last year was our sort of breakout year, and we had a really solid year and, um, and starting down the, the high growth path again. Let's give some training to budding entrepreneurs of the future. Mm -hmm. What do you tell the next generation of Mark Wilsons? Yeah, I would probably reflect back on to the, you know, the core reasons why we got into business, and that was you know, having a real uh, purpose and mission for why it is that we were in business. And so I think that's essential for anybody that's going to go into business, that you have to have you know, a connection to purpose. And obviously operating with integrity and, and you know, with a sense of trust and, you know, and good moral compass that, that, that guides you as, as, a, as an entrepreneur, all those things are very important. Is there a big difference today in starting an entrepreneurial business versus when you started Ryla? It just feels like those, uh, particularly the millennial set, uh, they're smarter. They're very smart and bright and they're doing things in a, uh, in a different way. They're, you know, I'm not seeing very many things around marketing being done traditionally. I just think there's a lot more available to you, you know, to be successful you know, if you take advantage of them, if you really study what, what trends are and, and, you know, and how to you know, effectively grow a business, there's more available, I believe. E-Verifile recently released a new cloud-based service so clients can connect using their mobile devices. It also expanded new contractor screening safety services for the railroad industry. The company is on pace for 75% year-over-year growth in 2015.